Hello everybody and welcome back to Dragon Age Veilguard where I was trying to look up to make your old god stuff on my handy dandy little thing here. Uh, the All the codex entries ever made I, for anything and whoever, I can't remember who did it, but I found it online. It's the greatest thing that's ever happened. Um, but I was looking up old gods and I bumped into the Astrarium from Inquisition codex entry. And he was talking about, I was just like skimming it to be like, oh yeah, there was um, old gods stuff associated with the Astrariums, right? So I was skimming it to see if there's anything in there. Um, and then it does say, so when you connect, when you did all three Astrariums in an area, it would point you to like a, we like a weapons cache or a treasure cache or whatever, you know, like a, something cool that you could go to and get some loot, you know? Um, but it says, yeah, blah, blah, blah. connect with Wemmers in the correct configuration, it'd be revealed where the treasure was. Many of the relics were sought out by Androstian cultists in the early Divine Age, the Order of Fiery Promise in particular, and destroyed. Why? Because they believed the Astrariums held together the veil, and that destroying them would destroy the veil and thus the world. Such is the way of cults of any kind, and the true reasons for what they could, ne could do... Or what they do could never be understood by modern minds. That's a bit of a stretch, but it is something that would be written by somebody who's just like, mmm, 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 we can never understand cults with a modern mind, proceeds to dead-eyed stare at all the cults that exist in a modern, you know, it, it, you, you could do it in real life, too, where you're like, mm-hmm. It gets so funny always when, like, people are like, I can't believe medieval people believed such and such, and then you turn around, and then there's a flat earther being like, blah, and you're like, all right, you know, maybe it does make more sense, and we don't give medieval people and etc. enough credit. <laughs> you know, I know that, but like, you know, and many people do. But it's like, I think a, a general there's like a general idea that like people were dumber back then, but like it just didn't have access to the same information that we have now. And even though we have access to a gazillion things of like of information, and we've made so many leaps and bounds in like studying the world and existence and everything, you still get people who are like. The Earth is flat, and the Moon is a projection, and you're like, okay, you know. And there's like religious, religious, religious cults too, you know. People, this intense desire for belonging that cults can sometimes facilitate does not die out with subsequent generations. You know what I mean? We are a social people. It's we are extremely easy to manipulate socially. Um. But yeah, I also, I forgot this, like I remember reading it now, but like, cause at the time I was like, oh, um, because the artifacts that Solus have you activate throughout the game in his first quest, one of his like, first quests that he gives you that you can do over time is activating the ancient, these ancient elven artifacts. He doesn't give us any word of name or anything for what they are, just ancient elven artifacts and they're supposed to strengthen the veil. And if you do that, if you complete enough of them, he gives you a quest later for the war table that puts like a, a ritual that goes across like Thetis, or er, goes across Ferelden and Orle. I don't don't remember if it went any further than that because we only activated stuff in Ferelden and Orlay. Um, but we like basically on the war table you can coordinate this massive essentially ritual of mages all across Thetis and Orlay or Ferelden and Orlay to like strengthen the veil. And like Ever since the end of the end of like Trespasser and like the end of Inquisition, when you're like, oh, and you're figuring out what Solus is actually trying to tear down the veil, it's like, so did we actually strengthen the veil there? Because he says it's the, at the beginning, it's like, oh, it's to get measurements. Like the little the artifacts will help strengthen the veil in the area, and then like we do, you do this whole like, you know, he does this massive measurements thing, and other people check it and they all agree with him, right? But he's very knowledgeable you know what i mean he could like skew things or make it seem certain ways and he understands the fade in ways nobody else can and the veil in ways nobody else can but yeah you do this massive ritual and it's like just a war table mission and you're like cool yay you know and it gives you great like great approval with him you know but it's like so what did that actually do you know like again once you realize what he's kind of trying to tear the veil down i'm like so did we actually strengthen it there for a bit for like you know purposes you know to like keep it stable for a bit until you could do what you wanted to do or did we actually like undermine ourselves essentially by doing that whole thing you know but at the time when i read this i was like this astrium thing i was like oh so this is like the opposite of the elven artifacts that solace wants us to do right we're like these artifacts potentially according to legend and you never know if it's actually true or where the grain of truth is in it like you know are the would destroying these somehow destroy the veil 
as opposed to what we're trying to do, which is strengthen it, right? Because the order of fiery promise, and I remember now, I think maybe we looked at it a little bit earlier, but it was one that like, it wants to essentially like bathe the world in the fires of the fade, I'm pretty sure. Hang on, I'm, I'm gonna double check. Cause we, we mentioned it earlier as a, as a cult, like a, whatever, several episodes ago, maybe at this point. And maybe I'm like being silly because they just mention it briefly in one of the codex entries. They're like fiery something or other, you know. Um, and I, now I'm like I've latched onto it, and it could just be absolutely nothing. Yeah, we read the entry of the Order of Fiery Promise. It doesn't really tell us exactly what they want to do. But the band of men and women who decreed that not only the end of the world was nigh, it was necessary. The Thetis must be cleansed with fire and reborn as a paradise. So I think this was in a time when the original Inquisition existed. This was during the first blight, or at, just after the first blight. Um, and I wonder then if the Order of Fiery Promise isn't some sort of remnant of Solus's people, or like Solus, like like his people, like his group, you know, his squad, or. Or something, or like somebody heard something through a dream, like a human, you know what I mean? Like somehow was like implanted with an idea or like overheard something in a dream, thought it was a vision, you know, somebody manipulating something and making these humans think we just need to tear down the veil um, and bathe the world in the fires of the fade in order to like cleanse everything. And again, it ties very well into the Andrastian thing of like, you know, the Andraste was burned at the stake, you know, and then she went, she became her true form and sits at the side of the maker. You know what I mean? But like, so, so that's, that's a common, like it tracks like motif wise, like theme wise, right? Where it's like, we need to be reborn as she was, you know? Oh, lore things. I, yeah, I was trying to look up old god stuff, but that's right. So the Tevinter Magisters, the original Tevinter Magisters were called the Seven, according to this entry on Corypheus from Inquisition. Um, they were all competing with each other. The old gods told them each individually, because there was a, pri a priest for each of the old gods. Um, they were all competing. They said that they needed to break into the city and usurp the Maker's throne, but only one of them could sit on the throne. Um, mm -hmm. Again, this would this could potentially if because dreaming even even gods dream right, and so and a, a god's dreaming can influence the world around it. if it's such a, it's so powerful or like a godlike entity can affect the world even asleep you know um, i can't remember what what lore the realm that's from but i've heard that before and i think i like it a lot um and so in their dreaming they could affect the world around them and have like projected themselves through their dragons to make it easier to manipulate to venture because they're like, oh, they're el old elven gods. We don't, you know, I don't know. Just to make it, like, make it easier to have a puppet for people to worship that's, like, less complicated, almost. You know what I mean? Um, and to make them all compete to open the veil, like, to whisper at them, to keep whispering at them, to open the veil. Although it could be blight manipulation, too, technically. Because the blight wants, apparently, potentially, wants the whole veil, like, wants the prison opened so that it can all pour out and like make havoc um but yeah and if they were encouraged into breaking it either the old the either the elven gods wanted to be broken out like they wanted to be freed and so through dreaming through their tied dragons which is what the laura the, the, the theory i'm going with now right and so the tevinter magisters broke in but it wasn't enough but they were able to release some of the blight itself into the world and corrupt themselves and the world in the process. The seven, the numbers don't track. Yeah, there's eight gods. There's eight, eight elven gods. But no, if we, no, I, I, I must be missing one because I swear I have triple checked this before that even, unless I just did not, 
Unless I just didn't acknowledge the myth all death, there are eight elven gods, and this does not include Solus either, and Solus wouldn't have done this, I don't think either, bound a dragon. And I wonder if the binding of the dragons is what like Mythal was like, no, we can't do this, and then they killed her for that. Because if that's the case, then we have seven ancient elven gods left and seven dragons, seven old god dragons from Tevinter. I must have just been like, oh no, it doesn't match because Mythal is the eighth. But they killed her. There's no way I overlooked it like that. There's no way I overlooked something so simple as that. It's entirely possible, obviously. We have Andril, Dirthamin, Elgarnan, Falandin, Skip Fenerel, we have Gilanon, we have June, we have Mythal, and then we have Silas, it's eight, and then Mythal is killed. Dreadwolf would never participate anyway. And you have seven elven gods that could have bound a dragon and become to winter old gods that way. And we've had five blights that were successful in that we defeated the archdemon. So yeah, only two elven gods left, Algarnan and Gilanane. I mean, I'm, I'm convinced. I've convinced myself. I don't know. That's so simple. I must have been just. I. I am notorious for making things overly complicated. And again, I could just bite. I could be biting myself, like biting these words or whatever the phrase is. Right later, um, and maybe I'm making it too complicated. And the devs are like, "Nope, it really wasn't that complicated." You know what I mean? But like, I'm sold. I've crafted my theory for everything that I think is going forward. I wonder if sacrificing Mythal... I mean, Mythal can still take... Like, Mythal Flemeth, anyway, can take the form of a dragon. Or she has, like, communion with dragons. And I think maybe she had a close relationship with dragons, but it was, like, a two-way street, you know? And so maybe when they tried to bind dragons, she protested especially vehemently because, like, they were close to her. Like, you know... Um, like, she was bound to them, but in, like, a benign way, you know? And then they were like, oh, well, time to kill Mythal. And so it was like, oh, well, time to imprison all of you. And also that Blight, the shenan those Blight shenanigans, put that in there, too. Oh, my gosh. I'm gonna have to double check when I'm not, like, recording something. But, like, I make sure I got the numbers right and everything. But there's no way I missed it. I've talked about this with friends for years, and I'm like, oh, the numbers don't match up. But they killed Mythal! But I think it's because I was thinking, like, oh, like, you would think the like that somehow they would be associated. Each one would have, like, a dragon association in the legends. But if she was killed before that, she wouldn't have any of that. You know what I mean? That is... I'm, I'm either a genius or an utter moron, but I'm gonna go with genius for now. Wild. Anyway, I have no idea what we're doing. Oh, looking for... We were gonna maybe look for more wolf statues if we can get over to there. How are you faring with a song, Davron? It's all good. He's behaving, minding his manners, quiet as a mouse. Mm -hmm. So all the squawking from your room. Mm -hmm. The lighthouse is drafty. Must have been the wind. Must have been I the wind. I distinctly heard a griffin shriek. Oh. Oh, okay, yeah. Sometimes he acts out. You must instill some discipline. Manfred needed to be taught boundaries as well. Uh huh. Except his son's a griffin. Yeah. And clever. That will only increase. Believe me. Maybe we did. I didn't tell him to keep like a light hand on him, but just like you know, trust him and like have a good relationship. Yeah, you can't. If he acts out, he needs to be disciplined. But like. Mm. Dang, I hope I didn't, like, ruin... I hope I haven't ruined the child. The baby. Can I get in here yet? Gosh freaking... Dang it! Why? Did we... This door has been open. Yeah, we've been through here. I'm not sure what we opened. We've been through... Hmm. It looks like they're probably the other ones are closed off. We have Faded Glories is probably the way in for this. Oh, maybe this one? Well, 
we'll spread them out. We'll spread the berries out a little bit as like, you know, a tantalizing trail of treats. Uh, let us go... Well, we're not going to do this, but we're going to go get a dang nab armor that I want. I need more watch armor, and then we're going to get our final companion, and then we'll probably figure things out. Like, you know, there's, there's things to be done. There's faction stuff that needs doing. And once we get Tosh, I think, uh... Yeah, once we get Tosh, it'll probably trigger another, like, main game thing. We'll see. Ooh. Let's ask Myrna and Vorgoth about these hauntings. I'd also appreciate it if we could see to those displaced wisps. Of course, of As course. As I'm sure Rooks explained, the spirits of the Grand Necropolis reside here willingly. Most of our working dead are animated by unthinking wisps, which are little more than impulses from the Fade. But later, I could introduce you to some truly intelligent undead. What? Like having a chat over a pint? Some are quite conversational. <laughs> some are quite conversational. Davrin is funny to bring out to this one, honestly. We finally apparently have guards. Yeah, um... Okay. Straight forward. Right? Yes, well, get me to where the armory is at. Where were you guards last time, hmm? We had to do it all ourselves. Ooh, the robed guy is back. A note on ailments of the dead. Any watchers or visitors are to report at once if they witness imbalances such as dream cycles or broken auras amidst amongst the necropolis of sacred inhabitants. If you are unsure, please seek out a senior watcher for a proper diagnosis. Can I? I can't. I can't yet. I have to talk to you first. Fine. Rook, Emric, your return is most welcome. We require the aid of watchers. Don't you have any Your more? letter spoke of hauntings? Malign spirits freed by the gods. They have concretized into a variety of forms. Left unchecked, these spirits will cause great harm. They must be put to rest. I believe This haunting was once a spirit of curiosity. Really? It has turned to a darker purpose. Obsession? We must keep track of our skeletal assistants. Oh, are any lost? Intermittently. One revels in hiding in the sand. Mm-hmm. <laughs> can I... Can I have... Oh, it's you, my guy. There is much to be done. Why are you the merchant? That is wild. Did I get level two now? I am so close. Okay, let me at least look and see. Oh, we could get new armor for Emric. Striking misfortune. Long coat used mostly in the Grand Acropolis rituals. Precisely what kind of rituals is best left unknown. See, that's the kind of comment that makes people question what we do here in the Morn Watch. Um. I think I'm going to maybe do the quest, like, super fast, so I can unlock some things, maybe? Crafted in the Navaran style. Sure. We'll unlock that appearance. Perhaps one is being watched. Ooh, I mean, but it's, it's a great axe appearance, I think. A gift! I forgot about gifts. I'm going to buy him a gift. I forgot about gifts. I should be checking the faction things for gifts. Encrusted with small piercing spines. This full body armor offers the seamless most safe place to strike. 
Auto death masks are bad. At least the one we saw, I was like, yikes. <laughs> Preserved Gurn hide Gurns. We used to hunt those in Inquisition. Pra handsome Navarran armor issued to practitioners of necrotic arts on the off chance an enemy gets close enough to land a blow. Oh no, it was the smiling visage that we saw. I think the grim one was not great either, though. A researcher's coat, but that is so far up. Clean and comfortable during field exploration. Sure, uh, sure I'll buy this for him. I'll buy this for me. But I, I kind of want to go do a quest really quick and get enough. Let's see, we need, yeah, I think each one gives us at least 50, so we should be good. If we go take care of the wisps, we should be able to buy level 2 stuff. The dead away. Okay! Quest acquired fit for a necromancer, what? Oh, the gift I got him. I need to check the other factions for gifts. It's so fun to do gifts again, honestly. I really like it. It's kind of odd, though, because I have been getting the gifts fairly early, and it feels like maybe gifts shouldn't open up until, like, later when you get to know them, but, like, yeah. Oh. I look so schnazzy in this! And it matches my diadem. I, I think I will keep that armor. It's... It's got... Well, some of the best defense that I've got in here, and it's got some of the best, um... Ability usage. Oh my gosh, I love it. It's not as bulky as like the full plate, which didn't look super cool, but it was like, again, I am loving the like Veridegree look on all of this stuff with like the bronze or whatever that they're using. It looks so good. Listen, I was upset when I heard we couldn't dye the armors, but me and a couple other people I've been talking to were like, say no more anymore. You know what I mean? I'm like, you got, no, you guys did a good job, <laughs> you know? Let's see what kind of outfit we have for you now. Ooh, but it gets rid of your shoulders. These robes smell like sage. A good way to cleanse the air. I mean, there's really, I guess there's no, because they don't take damage. It's just abilities, which is very odd. This is a very weird way of, I think, I haven't not talked about it enough. Like, I've mentioned it briefly, but it's a really weird way to handle companions in games that they don't take damage or die. Even in Mass Effect, they take damage and die. They're basically just extensions of my abilities. You know what I mean? Like, it just gives me more things to be able to do on the wheel. And, um... And then they get their own bonuses in the armors? You know, he did with his looks, he could come off as a bit like a jerk. Um, a stuffy know-it-all, but he's so kind and accommodating to everybody. Rook, Professor, a new group of Venatori trespass in the Shrouded Halls. What? The gold of them. They come in search of plunder. We'll put a stop to that. Do you, do you not have any, this is one where I'm like, you guys have, like, an extensive network of people to do things. Like, you are the Morn Watch, you know, like. I wonder what this is about. Like, you have got to have more people than, than us, you know. We got it. We got what? The door? Oh, it's a good thing only us can solve the problem of the red lyrium. I don't know. This is like... So far, I've not had any real issues with the way anybody's been handling things. It's like... But this... This feels weird. Ow. I did not mean to get that close. Like... Like, it, as in, like, the Morn Watch. Like, this is their thing. Like, they protect... The necropolis from bandits like they they have probably have to deal with people trying to get magical artifacts all the time you know oh so like why is this an issue i mean i get I, it, it could be persistent but i'm pretty sure the Mormon watch almost functions like as like a, a little army 
at least a, 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 a that, good fighting force, right? Here's one of those scattered wisps you mentioned, Emric. It's oh, out of yeah. alignment. Let's find a receptacle for it while it recovers. Look, look, there's one here. There's one here. There's one here. Faint wispy noises. Oh! Oh! I'm just gonna... Okay! <laughs> I mean, I know if I had bought it, if I could buy it, and, and I could buy the upgrade, you know what I mean? I would have found the upgrade here, or I can go buy the upgrade. But, oh my gosh, hang on. I want to see what it looks like. Move. Is this one with the spines? Nope, okay, I was like, this is because it doesn't have the spines, it's very smooth. The armor's vividly sculpted musculature is a testament to Navarra's unrivaled knowledge of anatomy. I mean, it's a little fanciful, but no, I mean, yeah, actually, no, they did a pretty bang up job, honestly. Even the glutes. It's a little fanciful, obviously, but, like, this is very cool. It doesn't match my diadem as well, though. Should I just take my helmet off? And then I want a cool helmet with skulls on it. And this is just, I don't know, this has been on me for so long. I like it so much. Yeah, I'd have to go back to the lighthouse and switch the appearance. Let's walk around in the musculature armor for a while. This is a really interesting this armor concept. I like it a lot. Okay, little wispy baby. Um, where do you want to go? Over here? Ah. Okay. You only have them for a limited time. It just pulled itself up by its spine. What you doing? Mm, the door's locked. Maybe it'll open if we bring more wisps. Wonder what's so important behind there. They're powerfully warded, and yet... Mm, someone passed through these doors not long ago. Um, okay, but, like, do I have to bring a bunch of wisps over at once? Because I don't think I can. An overview of spirits malign. Malign spirits are inevitable. We understand what manifests them directly in our world. Jealousy, arrogance, greed, rage, and fear bolstered very often by bloodshed. Corruption of the undead is more insidious. It takes a significant disruption in the Fade, a more powerful spirit, or other mystical conditions to transform a normally serene denizen of the necropolis into one of the malicious dead. Luckily, after banishing such spirits, we may recover the corpse and once again infuse it with a benign possessor. In circumstances where mortal suasion... Hang on, I get most of these words, but like, what? Suasion. It's like... I was like, is it... Did they misspell persuasion, you know? Or is it... Is a, we're one of, like, mortal persuasion is how I would kind of... Normally, I would say that. Suasion is the act of influencing... Persuasion as opposed to force or compulsion. But, like, why do you have a word suasion that is... Like, are they just the same word? It seems like, though, here's a question. What is the difference between persuasion and suasion? It says persuasion is just more commonly used, and it might just be the case, honestly. Um, and But persuasion ordinarily refers to extortion by means of argumentation or reason discords. So you can, like, persuade somebody to do something but maybe suasion is more of like a state of being that suasion suasion this is all from wiktionary and like you know oxford dictionary um but it is not uncommon for suasion to refer to the exercise of influence by other means it really just seems to mean persuasion it's from old english stem a latin stem 
interesting. <laughs> I'm learning things all the time. I think if you said it in the real world, people would be like, do you mean persuasion? And you're like, no, it means suasion. And they're like, what? Why? <laughs> we have persuasion. <laughs> Apparently, moral suasion is an often used we have combination of terms. Uh, well, I don't know. Let's poke it and see. Did We're gonna Zelda this? Yeah, okay. I see. Oh! Placate Mischief. Emric can use this? So what, he's speaking with little wisps? Oh, we, okay, we have already gathered a wisp. That's nice. I thought he'd summon Manfred for things. This one has purple fire on it. Let's see if we can figure this out. Is it a puzzle? How exciting. We got it. We got what? I have no idea. A door? Oh, okay. Let's see if we can figure this out. Break everything in the room. Okay, I solved the puzzle. It's like, I don't think you understand how puzzles work. And why can't those guys over there do this? Like, I don't mind doing things, obviously, but like, it's a little odd. <sighs> Impossible map. During the Storm Age, a romantic Navarran artist mixed a drop of their own blood into their inks. The Watchers discouraged the practice as it kept leading to possessed artwork. Real, I did notice because I, I was like, trying to look at it and I thought when I picked it up, it would maybe I would see it clearer. But it had like a faint skull outline, like kind of like a wispy looking one. Oh my gosh, that is so deep. If I were to use your own blood in your artwork kept leading to possessed artwork which is like dope honestly and probably some people were like let's actually do that <laughs> like intentionally crumple mm -hmm. parchment the risen gods and their divine power since a potential ally in the necropolis we must sway it to their cause according to the unbearable necromancer we've had to deal with the entity we seek should be in the shrouded halls but be careful this being is ancient who knows what moves it may be and when we find it is it the giant skeleton <laughs> They kind of spoil it a little bit, you know, because you're like, I'm in a place full of skeletons, so I'm hoping to find a giant skeleton that you put in your trailer. You know what I mean? But still. I'm trying to see if that was like a design at all, but I think it's just, or like a, like a representational design at all, but I think it's just a, a linear design. Um, but, so yeah, like, I'm aware that I'm gonna be fighting a giant skeleton at some point, but honestly, seeing that in the trailer made me really excited, so I'm happy I saw it, you know? Oh? What do we have here? Ah! Oh. Activate? Hmm, I'm going to, I'd rather investigate first. Did I, oh, did I miss the chance to investigate something? Yeah. Do you want me to, do you want me to activate this one? Oh, we need to break this one. Okay. Honestly, this is not very puzzly. What do you want, little baby? You know, I wanted to read whatever was there. I think there was something there and I missed it. Come on, little guy. We even
cool, 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 cool. I was listening to their dialogue. I got you, little guy. I mean, they're not really sticking around. There has to be another that. whisper round for that Whoa. locked door. Right. Let's look around. I mean, it's it's if it's that one that we're like you know being pointed at by the by the marker. It involves using this. Oh my gosh, Spite just pulled a, an entire, what, arm bone of something? Can you come here? Yeah, okay. Oh, wrong way. Shoot. Got it. Oh, that last wisps unlocked this door. Let's take a look. Well, the Venatori got in and got absolutely wrecked, apparently. Something's making them restless. It might be the Venatori being, you know, dingleberries, but... Oh my gosh, you see that? Oh my goodness. Oh my! An Envy Demon! Oh, I've only seen one of those before in Origins! Very cool. What was that? Did you guys... I can't wait to get my ultimate and do something cool like that. You interrupted my shield there! Oh, I have it now, I have it now, I have it now. They have sick abilities! Oh, wait. Ooh, I siphoned you, baby! Nope, not you. Absolutely not. Um... Woohoo! Very cool! That was cool! Why are there so many of you? Woo! The, re the Reaper Scythe is very cool. Very cool, very cool. I chose so Dead well, Victoria. actually. How'd they get in here when the door was locked? An excellent question. I wonder if this is like just like actual research material that people are using, like like Morn Watchers and Mortal Tassi. Because where are the Mortal Tassi? Why did we change their name? The Mortal Tassi worked fine. It was a good name. Um, or if these are the things that the dead brought with them to be, you know, part of the part of their collections. What do we have here? Hold, okay, so this is like the full Morn Watch armor, I think, with like the death mask and everything. We have more dead venatory. This is the armor that I could get, like the full plate mail. Hang on, hang on. I see you. I see what. Oh, this was the maid. Uh, this was a venatory mage. That's right. I'm like, I fought an envy demon, but yes. Um. Also, hold up here. So this is a dragon skull for sure. We used to have one in Inquisition. Um. Were they after whoever stuff was buried here? Are these like dra- no, like these look like dragon bones. Maybe they're like child, uh, like sarcophagi with like a dragon bone on top. <gasps> no, it's the dogs! Is this a Ferelden guy? It's a person, and he's wearing- that's Ferelden armor! That's Ferelden first styled armor! Why is he here? In Navara? He's got his dog- I'm actually going to cry! That's really sweet! Oh my gosh! 
I have told my family that when I am to be buried, I want to be buried with my dog. I have his ashes, and I want his name to be on the the stone. What if I get a stone? I, I want his name on there. So, yeah. Anyway, the cage is empty, yet on certain nights, bird song pours out through the bars. Some of little, little memento thing. Um, with like a bone on them. I'm actually gonna, so sweet. <laughs> Ugh. It does increase the stagger. Oh. A little less damage, but for the most part, very good. Let's see. I did like the aesthetic of the other one better. This one looks more like a spear. I mean, the Varans are known, though, for their dragon hunting, so this might be one of, like, the Pentagast, like a Cassandra relative. Is this new Andras they ordered, or is this stuff we've seen? It's done in a very similar artistic style that we've seen in Chantries and Southern Thetas. I don't know, though, if I've seen this one. And I'm assuming Andras they, it could very well not be. But, it's, like I said, it's done in a very similar to the religious art in the, uh, the Chantrian art, specifically in Southern Thetas. Uh, Venator love a spell book, so let them find one. It was full of what we believe is right and good. It has converted no one, but we have hope. Is that the shadow dragons? That's interesting. Interesting. Do you have any, like, you have, like, they have, like, a note under their leg. It looks like they were trying to get into this one. It is the biggest one here, and something was not well pleased. Ooh, there's a giant skeleton in there. <gasps> is, that, is that, that's what I was thinking was the pelvic bone that was hanging up in Davern's room, but I think maybe it is actually a skull, like the world's weirdest skull of the weirdest creature. I don't know. I know a little bit about terrestrial creatures and a little bit about technically terrestrial human skulls and skeletons and stuff, but not as much as I should. So, like, I don't know if there are creatures that have... Those are eye sockets! Those are protruding eye sockets! Are those protruding eye sockets? Because, like I said, it almost looked... Uh, like, if it was a skull, it looked like it would be of a, um... Maybe like a uh, an aquatic creature. I just don't know of any that have eyes that don't have connections to any sort of optic nerve in the back. But like, if you want to talk about invertebrates, obviously, like you can do all kinds of things. You can do whatever you want. But like, as interesting. Well, hopefully, we'll see whatever creature does that. I honestly don't know. I've been recording for 55 minutes. And I'm not sure if I should call this one here or not, because I don't know if I've spent too much time like looking up lore things. I think I have. We're gonna keep going. Sealed tight. Oh. oh. Are you Venatori? Are the sniffing rats? What form have you all? This vault's riches are mine. I tore them from the dead, and with me, they will remain. So was that a demon? I'm afraid so. Hey. And a Whoa. powerful one, to have been kept behind such ancient locks instead of simply banished. Let's search around. Maybe the Venatori knew something. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Go look at the note. Maybe now the note will activate. I just, I'm so good. I'm so good. <laughs> A uh, bloody note found on Venatori. Well, we know, placed it long ago. Forgotten, forbidden. <gasps> forgotten or forbidden, those are key words! Remember, we have the forgotten ones, which are the the, the entities that the elven, the Avenirus fought eons and eons ago, right? We have the forbidden ones that are uh, demons. Those are, that's, a, that's a group of, like, four demons that um, we've actually killed one in each game. <gasps> are we going to kill the fourth one? You have the option, anyway, in Inquisition to kill the third demon. Um, oh my gosh, is this the other, is this the demon? Is this the fourth demon in the, is it the skeleton guy? Who's the fourth demon of the Forbidden Ones? Oh my god, gracious. 
can sense magical loci, 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 I don't know, I don't know why I want to pronounce everything with a hard C, uh, projecting from here into upper world, how demons will manifest on these points tied to seals, one, so wait, wait, what we know, so the entity can sense magical loci, loci pro projecting from here into the upper world, or is the entity projecting? Demons will manifest on those points. Titus seals. One demon loci is in the Anderfels, one back home in Tevinter, and one in Arlathan. Kill the demons of the loci, and the door to the inner chambers will unseal. Until entity inside the inner chamber is dead, lesser demons will keep returning. We don't know how to leave this bloody place. Interesting. Oh my gosh. Uh, this note Susie? says the door's seals are tied to demons out in the world. Killing them unseals the door, but they'll keep returning until I, we destroy whatever's behind the door itself. I Damn just read that. Heart. The order would be grateful. I've never even heard of this spirit. Let's keep an eye you out. You should probably. I no. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. Uh, we should ask the people who are in charge if they want us to do anything with this. You know what I mean? Like maybe they don't want us to open the door. Maybe it's there for a reason. Like. Ah, that's a little frustrating. Emmerich's like, oh, interesting. I'm like, no, stop. Words, words scrawled faintly in blood. They thought to flatter me with lies, so I sealed the door behind them. This Venatori agent locked them in, so I probably got them in somehow, got them in through the door um, that we have miraculously left open. I turned around for a second, and I was like, oh, my gosh, she's gone. But, uh, yeah. So yeah, but the others apparently didn't know. The others did not know that this one had sealed the doors because this one's like, we don't know how to get out and they keep being like waves of demons and this one's just like cackling and uh, got them all killed horrifically. Like they're just, that, these are some wild, some wild death poses, honestly. Can I get in here? Oh, look at all the sarcophagi. And then they have little wooden ones up there, like smaller wooden ones. Coffins, those would be coffins. You know, let me double check the difference between coffins and sarcophagi. Oh, see, I was like, I was like, to me, it was like stone and wood, right? Like a casket coffin. Although I think there is a difference between casket and coffin. I think one of them is more human shaped and the other one is um, just like rectangular. Um, but, so there's a difference between casket and coffin. And then sarcophagus, I was like, okay, made out of stone. Um, and like, you're big, you know what I mean? But like, it was, it's above ground, essentially. It's like its own mini tomb. Um, whereas a coffin and a casket are usually interred underground, I think. I think. Oh, also potentially, this is if this is a continuation of the description, a, sar a sarcophagus will have a coffin inside it. So maybe a coffin isn't necessarily interred, but it is like underground, but it is interred within something, oftentimes. Um, because a sarcophagus, especially the Egyptian ones, right? Like there's layers. It's like uh, like Russian dolls, kind of, right? Um, yeah. And obviously, a sarcophagi usually have. Um, carvings and like are intricate a little more intricate on the outside that's the whole purpose is they're decorative and also very very hard to open anyway this is all so very thrilling hunt down the and ground thing have i already found one Wait, why does it only say oh i guess so this demon has spread its influence around the world so it is like even though it's sealed in there it's like leaking out probably because of fade shenanigans like veil shenanigans like being weak um interesting but it only says two. did i already do it and it said where the note said yeah dogtown arlathan and was it like Treviso? as far as i know the notes i don't pick up seem to stick with me not all of them anyway, and that is annoying. I would like to read. Oh, I guess I can turn around. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. I happen to be in here, so I can read it again. 
This is why I'm like, okay, I would like it to disappear after I've read it, but only if it goes into my codex entries, you know? Yeah, where do the notes go? Um, in the Anderfels, one in Darktown and one in Arlathan. Did I, did I already do the one in the Anderfels? Inadvertently? You go to the Anderfels first. Like, it seems like you have to, right? You have to go get the Warden first, and then you get the last two. Um, anyway. So much lore, so much red string. So many interesting things going on. <laughs> anyway, thank you all so much for watching. I appreciate it. I am gonna go do a little walk in a swimming pool. It's good for my health. I love that this is all broken, too, from, like, the bodies being thrown. Can I get this tapestry? A uh, replica? I would not take one from the dead, obviously. I would commission one. Um, so I can support local artists, <laughs> too. <laughs> but anyway, thank you all for joining me. I appreciate it. Really quick, I'm going to cut over and say thank you to my patrons. Alright, really quick, I want to say thank you to my patrons, to all my patrons, including my Acorn Tier patrons. Thank you so much, Fane, for your support. I very much appreciate it. And I want to give an extra special shout out to my Sapling Tier patrons, Riz Galito, thank you so much, and Sebastian James, thank you so much. I appreciate your guys' support. Uh, and I want to give an extra super special shout out to my Forest Tier patrons who have gone above and beyond in their support of me and the channel and who I truly, honestly cannot thank enough. So thank you, Christopher, so much for your support. And thank you so much, Nightshade, for your support. I appreciate you both very much. And thank you all again for watching. And I hope to see you in the next one.